Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. On this video, I'm going to actually make measurements of how much coax do I need to run from my shack here to the roof and so that uh, I can have the shortest run as possible. And I'm going to need an adapter, an N-type adapter to connect to my uh, three-element Yagi antenna. And this is going to be for live ATC. I plan on making a live feed. I will be using the Raspberry Pi 4. I have the uh, cooling case and an external HDMI monitor so I can see what's going on when I'm programming the... Uh, the program for the uh, live ATC. What I'm going to use also is the RTL SDR version 4 that's behind my computer right now on my uh, Dell XPS. I'll be uh, removing that and once I have the program running it'll be connected to the Raspberry 4. So let's make a measurement in the shack, I don't know where I plan on putting it, but um, I'm gonna do a quick measurement. All right, so in the shack, I'm going to make a measurement. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this Raspberry Pi. That's uh, approach control. Um, so I'm gonna put that somewhere in my shack. I'm not sure, probably over here. Take a look, this is where my computer is, maybe down in here somewhere. So if I put it here, my pass-through is right behind this monitor, so I'm going to measure an approximate. So that's about four feet. I'm just gonna round up, I'm gonna say five feet. So I'm gonna do a five feet run from anywhere in my shack to the pass-through. So let's go outside to the back and let's take a look at my pass-through. Okay, come follow me. We're gonna go to the back. So bright today. Here is the uh, the pass through. Come over to this side, baby. So I'm just going to open it. So I'm gonna come out here and then I'm going to run the coax to the top up there. So I need to make a measurement from the pass through here all the way to the top for now. Okay, we're on the second floor right now. Um, this bracket, I'm going to reuse this bracket. I used to have uh, an antenna up there. Um, I'm not sure if I can reuse that because now I have another pole right there for my four meter horizontal loop but I, I still might be able to use it. We'll take a look once we get on the roof where I can best place the, the antenna, the three element Yagi. I have a question. See, go ahead. that antenna? Oh, that one? Yeah. That antenna there, that's part of the 40 meter horizontal loop. She's looking at that one right there. That's 40 meter horizontal loop. Okay, well, that's a good idea. All right, so I'm going to, or both of us actually, we're going to climb up to the third floor on the roof. That's my neighbors. Okay, keep climbing to the top. One more and then you can step over. See, step over the top. Is that bien? Yeah. Okay, from the second floor, we're now on the roof. 
let me give you a tour, I guess, on the roof. So, if you haven't seen my videos on the 40 meter horizontal loop, um, I'll, sh I'll leave you the link. But here, I operate Starlink. This is actually my Starlink internet. I got the uh, sandbags there. And uh, coming over here, I have the, um, my junction box comes out, the coax runs to the top of the roof, and then it's being fed to, this is my one-to-one -one ballon, and that's connected to the four-to-one ballon. So those are the model numbers the one-to-one uh, -one isolation ballon is uh, model number 1116 Delta India from Ballon Design. And the one above it is the 4114 Sierra, again from Ballon Design. So uh, I just have the connection underneath. It's the PL259. This is an Ampanol connector and the beginning of the uh, 40 meter horizontal loop. It's connected to that. The wires are just dangling. It goes to that other one here. And it slopes downwards. I have to, uh, I cut the, uh, the, the cables down lower because what happened was the homeowners association didn't want me to have the uh, aerial on top of the roof. Here, this dish here, it's not used for anything right now. It's just uh, for decoration, I guess, on the roof. Again, 40 meter horizontal loop and then back to the ballon. Now above the uh, 40 meter horizontal loop I have the W6 LVP and that is a receive loop antenna. I have it connected to an RCA TV rotator. All right I'm going to make a measurement all the way down. This is, uh, oh my God, this is 25 feet. I'm passing 14 feet now. All right, there we go. So to the top, it's 19. I'm just gonna say 20 feet, 20 feet to give an extra. It's always, have, it's always good to have a little more. So it's 20 feet coming up. 20 plus five, that's already 25 feet just to be right here. But now I need to transition to find out where can I put that antenna. Coming here, I'm gonna run the coax above this window here, this, the uh, glass. And uh, maybe that corner over there. Let's walk that way. Watch your step, baby girl. It could be this pole here. Yeah, it could be this pole here. It's nice and stout. Or I can use an addition. I have those two brackets down there, put another pole here, and I might just do that. And then I need to point the antenna. Um, that's west, that's north. So somewhere about northeast, I need to point the antenna in that direction. 
and the uh, I think the air traffic control or the uh, airport is about 10 miles. Take a look at down here. I have some poles. Um, I'm gonna see how much I got. Um, This pole is approximately nine, just under 10 feet. So it's nine feet, eight inches for one of those poles, nine feet, eight inches. Looking. That's, um, let me see how, how tall that pole is or how, how big is this bracket? Sophie, can you put the camera and look down here? You're still recording, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the, where I can put the base and the antenna. And this is already nine feet. So the top of the pole, come up here, look at me. It would be right here where the antenna would be pointing. It's, it's not a good idea. So I'm gonna scrap that idea. I can't use those adjusting posts. And uh, I might just go ahead and use this. Come follow me, watch your step, don't hit that. I might just put it here and pointing in that direction. All right, so I'm going to, I need 25 feet. I have my measuring tape here. It's 10 feet to this pole. 10 feet to this pole. Okay, this is 25, so that's 35 feet now, right here. I'm gonna give a couple of slack, I'll use this. Twenty-three. About nine feet plus nine. Okay, that's a total of 87 feet. Let's round it up to 90 feet. Just uh, just in case, you know, you gotta go around bends, maybe create a drip loop. So about 90 feet worth. Let's go back downstairs. Let's measure the the connect or the cables that I have, the Messi Poloni Ultra Flex 7. Let's see how much I got. Uh-huh, mas? Okay, mas poquito. Mas, there, there, okay? Turn around. And then the other feet. Hold the wall and then the other feet. Aha, uh -huh. bien. Okay, come down slowly, poquito. Mas, there you go. And then come down. All right, let me go down one more. Come on down again. Muy bien. Está bien? Okay. Come on down. Sophie's repelled from the mountain and she wasn't scared then. Poquito mas. One more. Remember I told you don't step backwards, step sideways. I don't want you to fall down. Step sideways here. Muy bien. All right, how do you feel? Scared? Fun. It was fun? Yeah. It was fun climbing, I don't know, 20 feet going up on the ladder. 
All right, so let's go back downstairs and let's uh, measure out how much I have. So here are the Ultraflex, um, Messi Poloni Ultraflex 7. We're going to uh, measure these two out. I'm gonna connect them together. That antenna uses a um, type N connection. So I have an adapter that I've ordered and it'll be coming here sometime next week. It's nothing special. It's not an Ampanol connection. It's uh, the one that you can get off of on Amazon. Probably less than 10 bucks. If you ordered the Ampanol ones, um, for example, um, it's gonna cost you more, maybe like $20 for a connector. So let me measure these two out. So this is the shorter one of the two. Let's see how I want to measure this. I'll use your, your I'll use your house. Twenty five right here and twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six feet. So this one this one is 36 feet. Now I get to measure that one. This? No, that one, look. This? Stand up, baby. That one. You need to point the camera to it, that one. Okay, that's my videographer right there. Okay, Sophie and I, we measured this all out and uh, we're coming up here to, this would be 64 feet. So I do have enough with a couple of feet to spare. So I will be using these two Messi Poloni Ultra Flex 7 and then tie them together with a barrel connector. Okay, so we're going to uh, do this as my project and um, I think it's gonna work out. I just gotta pick out, uh, I'm waiting for the delivery of my connectors. And once I bring this back here to this QTH and then I'll uh, assemble the antenna. But this video is basically trying to figure out if I have a long enough coax or if I need to purchase another one. If I had to do it again, I'll probably get an RG, uh, RG8X. Thank you, Sophie, for videotaping this uh, YouTube um, video. Did you have a good time? Yes. Were you scared to climb up the no. up to the third floor on the roof? No. It was pretty scary. I know it was. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Darren, and my ham radio call sign is N4EFR. If you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like and a comment. It helps the algorithm to put my videos up on top. Right now my little baby girl is a little sick. She had a little bit of fever. Not today. We have some meds. So um, maybe when I put the antenna up, she'll be a whole lot better. Probably a couple of weeks. So I like to say 73s and have a great day. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye.